you know, he could definitely make some big upsets, although I do not expect him to make top four of the tournament. Um, then we have Nyokin. Let's look at Nyokin for a minute here. Now, not many people know this, but Nyokin is actually one of the very top foreigners in the scene right now. I would rank him perhaps as highly as the third best foreigner right now. Absolutely sickly good. Uh, completely intelligent in every way. I would not be surprised if Nyokin takes this tournament home because his TVT is good. The only problem being is mechanical play. Hydra is about four and a half steps on up on everyone, mechanically speaking. And so that may carry him through, especially in the now Vulture-dominated Terran vs. Terran matchups. But Nyokin, he is smart. He is good at executing Terran vs. Terran builds. And I think he may have some stuff ready for Hydra, so that should be an excellent match. And Nyokin, I predict, to be top two in this tournament. Then, of course, we have Hydra. What can we say about Hydra that hasn't been said? Hydra has won so many tournaments this year. He has just been crushing everything. And he's definitely the favorite for this tournament. There's no doubt about that in anyone's mind. But there's a lot of pressure on him because he is such a strong favorite. He has been in Korea for so long. He has never really performed up to where he should have at WCG USA. So all those things mixed in with uh, you know the very experienced and high-skilled USA players that are going to be there, who knows what's going to happen. I, you know, I wouldn't want to be in Idris spot with all that pressure on me, but you know that's, that's what happens when you get that good. So... Hydra, definitely the favorite of the tournament, but definitely could be upset as well. All these players are capable. Uh, then we have Artosis. <laughs> yeah, I'm awesome. Um, then we have LZ Gamer. This guy has played so much StarCraft, more than almost any other American. I would not be surprised if he actually has the highest game count overall next to Hydra. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's getting really quite good. And LZ Gamer's streaming all the time for the fans. And everyone's seen him grow and prosper. He's a high-level Zerg now. Uh, trickier than Machine. Uh, not as tricky as in control. Somewhere in between the two. Uh, mechanically speaking, tricky speaking, everything speaking. So that may work out uh, in his favor. Who knows? Machine now. Machine, very, very mechanical Zerg. He's actually getting quite good. But, you know, he's he's got some nerves. He loves StarCraft a lot and playing. But, you know... It, Hasn't been able to play too much recently due to work and some other things. Uh, I expect him to do a couple upsets, but I don't think he'll finish quite as highly as last year just because of lack of practice lately. Now we have In Control. In Control, <laughs> it's so funny that he is a dark horse always, despite the fact that he's a USA champion, but everyone always underestimates this guy. A great player, so solid on LAN, and you know he's just so smart and tough mentally that I could see him doing some real damage. Um, almost impossible to say where he'll go, though. We have to see the groups first. Now, Inca. Inca, a lot of people I saw kind of giving him crap. Uh, don't give him crap. This kid is legit. He has about 5 x his skill since the qualifiers. He's getting really good, a very intelligent player. Uh, I don't think he'll be cheesing everyone at USA Finals, and I would not be surprised if he beats more people than uh, everyone thought he was going to. G5. G5 is a great player. Uh, I know I keep saying that about everyone, but it's especially true in this case. You know, last year, Noni, an amazing player. Uh, of course, one of the best foreigners of all time. And seriously, in Game 3 twice, in the Winter Bracket Final and in the Grand Final, in Game 3, G5 was winning both times, and then Noni eventually came back and ended up winning those. But, I mean, G5 was this close to a USA Championship, and, you know, he could do it again. Who knows? He, he can absolutely kill anyone there, and anyone there can kill him. So, we'll just have to see if G5 is on or not during the tournament. Last, but certainly not least, Louder. Uh, Louder is actually a lot better than anyone gives him credit for. Um just a solid old school protoss and you know he's the type of person who is not going to feel any pressure whatsoever you know that happens when you actually have you know a full-time job kids you're married <laughs> you don't feel the pressure at a land you, you can play your best a lot easier than these other players like Hydra who have to actually do this for a living so we could see uh, Louder potentially get pretty far because I think everyone's going to underrate him similarly like they do to in control each year so that's just a little overview uh, my predictions, top two, uh, it's quite likely Nyokin and Hydra will be up there, but we'll see, anything could happen. Now, let's go right into the Korean scene, enough about WCG USA and the foreigner scene. 
GOM TV, everyone calm down, nothing is certain yet, you know, that was just some, you know, insider stuff that was leaked out, but no one knows for certain whether or not that's going to happen. We don't know if GOM will be back with another season or not. I wouldn't worry too much, you know, GOM gets a lot of hits. Tasteless is awesome. I think that we're going to see something or other uh, with Tasteless in Korea cast and more StarCraft. Uh, Frozian goes to STX from Samsung. whoop de doo No, who cares? That guy, not my favorite Terran, I tell ya. Not impressive at all. Uh, the All-Stars are announced, and it's pretty much what you'd expect to see with one exception. By Great made it in. How did Buy Great make it in? What in the world is going on with that? I don't know. Congratulations to him. He's going to feel a little bit out of place in that tournament. Everyone else, you know, it, it looks like they belong. You can guess the list yourself. I'm not going to read off 30 guys or whatever, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Buy Great is the only one that you'd be like, huh, why is he there? OGN qualifiers are going to start up September 30th. About time. Pro League going to start up October 10th. Uh, did I say October 30th, Jan? I meant September 30th, if I did. Uh, Pro League starts October 10th. MSL starts the 29th, so we're finally going to get our real hardcore Pro StarCraft back. And so that's pretty much it in the Korean scene. You know, I don't really want to go into the results of these little matches because they don't really matter. Just something to kind of watch and have some fun with while we wait for the new seasons to start up. So uh, that's it for about the Korean scene. Now, coming up on SC for All, we have Easter Workshop videos. The first one was just released. We're going to be releasing a lot more. Uh, I have the camera, as you can see, with me in the States. So they were actually filmed with Juani's cell phone camera. Uh, so the quality would be a little bit lower, but I think you'll enjoy them anyway. There's some funny stuff in there. It's pretty cool. Uh, also, we're going to have full video coverage of the Northeast land that just took place this past weekend up. Um, that's that's going to be start to be released probably tonight and you know basically i used up the entire camera battery a lot of thanks to last light uh she did a lot of filming for me especially while i was playing and did some interviews i'm not even sure i haven't even watched all the videos yet but there are a lot of them hopefully we'll be able to get most of those up including interviews as i said before with last shadow that's a great one as well as sis adrenaline aka bliss aov the maker of the for the love of the game tournament uh you know i probed him a bit asked him what he was up to uh what a handsome nerd he was a really great guy so keep an eye out for that as well as tons of wcg usa videos i will be bringing the camcorder around getting interviews taking footage and all that good stuff so I'll be uploading that after the event as well so that's about it. Uh, make sure that you follow all the coverage coming up in the next week. A lot of coverage is going to be happening, and I'll be trying to keep updates going throughout the day on my Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash Artosis. Go and add it. It's, it's going to be an excellent event. Look for any streams that may or may not be up. And uh, that's about it. Questions, comments, concerns, criticism, anything like that, please drop me a line. I am always interested in improving the show and add in other things that you guys want to see out there, especially with the uh, first-person VODs and tutorials. Keep on giving me suggestions. You guys have given a lot so far, and I'm going to try to get to all of them. But always looking for suggestions because I'm not sure what people want to see exactly. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a good week.